day. Yo. Sparring session between <laughs> uh, you and light heavyweight prospect Khalil Co. Yeah. If people don't know, Khalil Co. is the guy that stopped Julio Cesar La Cruz, yeah. a gold medalist. Yeah. I think he only lost like a handful of fights yeah. ever. Um, you did that off the streets. Like, you was at the Wilder Media Workout, you yeah. stopped by the other gym, and you you saw him working, you just decided to hop in the ring. Why? I don't know, man. And I didn't know he was that fucking big, so I look at the tape. <laughs> Yo, he was, like, he looked big, but I'm like, I'm like, man, that's Kyle Little Cole. I'm like, I'm like, that's good work. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what he hitting for. And like you said, we was at the media day, we stopped for pizza. I mean, I grabbed two slices. Had me some bullshit drinks. The lemonade was ass, but the, but the orange soda was hitting. So we get in the gym, it's a nice vibe going, they get it in. So I'm like, damn, I got my mouthpiece in the car. I'm like, let me get some work. You know? Was you fishing? Is that why you bought the mouthpiece? You never know. No, I just had my bag with me. Cause I, you know, I had my shit in my bag. So because I had my bag with me, my mouthpiece, I never take my mouthpiece out my bag. So when we in there, I started hitting the speed bag, I warmed up. I feel a little good. Like, let me get some work. <laughs> so they was looking at me crazy. Like, you for real? No, Greg, get the fuck out of there laughing. I'm like, no, come on. Let me get some work. Even you was like, gee, you about to smile right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some work, man. But it was good, man. Um, a little cold. I see why he knocked Cruz out. Motherfucker can hit. He's strong. Um, good reflexes on him. I mean, good speed. And I, and, I, and I told him after we was done, I was like, bro, just keep stay on the right path, bro, because you can fight. Like, you know what I'm saying? The world need to see that. You need a guy like that, you know what I mean? So, it was good work, man. Strong as shit, though. Strong as a horse. Now, yeah. he's fighting on, what, November 12th? He's an Eddie Hearn fighter. Yeah. Fighting on a, a zone car in Cleveland. Yeah. What did you see from him? Is, is, it, is he a guy that is definitely going to be in the conversation a year or two from now? Yeah, because he got a lot of experience, I could tell. You know what I mean? He, and he not stupid. Um... And I'm not calling fighters stupid, but I'm saying he saw what I was trying to do. You know what I mean? Even though I'm fat and I'm short, I'm a wizard. You know what I mean? And I know how to pull these dudes in. So when I seen him taking his time and finding different angles and trying not to, you know what I mean, overdo himself, because he had already was getting some rounds in. And then I had boxed another kid after that. I boxed him three rounds. And the I boxed kid, him the other kid was number one, number yeah, one light heavyweight kid in, named in the Dante, U.S. Dante Lane. Yeah. Man, that motherfucker monster too. And I was tired, but I'm gonna get my rounds. But I see that Cole, he not only patient, he's smart with his, with his, with his shot selection. And I mean, one of the first things he did, he went right to my body. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm like, all right, this little motherfucker can fight. And he, and he fast, so he got some good little movement with him. You know what I mean? I, I think he definitely gonna be in the, in the rankings, for sure. He got a lot of shit with him. Are you gonna go to the fight in Cleveland? I want to, I want to bad, so I think I'm gonna end up out there. I might end up out there. Cause I, I mean, I also got an invitation from my man Ray Savage. Oh so, shit, yeah. Uh, Raymond Ford and uh, Africa, Richard Hitchens. Yeah, they're gonna be on there. With court. Montana Love being yeah. the main event. I can't wait. Montana yeah, Love versus Hitchens. Soon. Soon. Yeah. What did, what did it, what did you learn about Greg Hackett hopping in that ring? I mean, I also, I really just learned it walking in here today. When you was like, gee, we ain't young boys no more. <laughs> like, I mean, in my mind, I'm gonna go until I'm 50, 60 years old. But really, that light heavyweight shit, them big, like they too big. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I heard it like, yo, you gotta come down if you're gonna be getting in the ring. So I owe it to myself for sure. If I'm gonna be getting in the ring, I definitely gotta drop the weight. Cause it's like, he ain't beat me up, but it's like, I could feel that shit. Like, I, could, I felt this difference in strength. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I am getting older, a yeah, young man. You know what I mean? But I love, but I love those type of situations. You know what I mean? Especially, he even told me, he said, gee, don't nobody do that. Don't nobody come in the gym, walk in on some random shit and get some boxing like that and give up some rounds. Then get in with two motherfuckers that can fight. You know what I'm saying? When motherfuckers go in gyms, they be looking to see who they can work with. I want I want I want the names. I want the, the bad motherfuckers. Don't give me no regular motherfuckers. You know what I mean? So but I definitely if I'm gonna keep jumping in, I gotta get skinny, man. I need some type of health plan or something. What's the ideal weight? I don't know, man. I need to get bony. 
Just get all the way down. 54 would be cool, though. If I could fight at 54 again, I could be nasty. Even 60, but 54. I think 54 on down would be crazy. But it's crazy to talk like that right now. I'm 36 years old. I've been 200 plus pounds. Not plus, but like 200 for the last, I'm going to say like three years. Two, two years. Mm. So oh, I had to do a lot of work. Man, I got to put a lot of work in myself. You know what I mean? But it could be done, but I mean, it was a great experience for me. All right, we issuing the challenge, the Greg to Junior Middleweight Challenge, man. <laughs> we need a target date. I need it. It's going to have to be like June or July. It's got to give me some gotta, time. We, we got a slow get now? Yeah, I got to reconstruct, man. I need a lot of reconstruction. All right, so everybody get in the comments. Let G know he can do it, and, <laughs> and, and we're going to give G a target date to when he got to get down to 54, man. Yeah, because this shit crazy. But I had fun, man. It was a good experience. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.